We are so back. Hi everyone, I'm in my uh, skull crossbones onesie as you can see. Uh, very, very sweaty. Uh, scent of the day is actually remnants of Ambre de Coco from Arige Le Doré. Uh, I don't know, there's nothing in it for a sample. I'm not gonna get a bottle of Ambre de Coco. But still, it was good. In terms of life updates, I've finished an assignment, uh, a whopping uh, seven pages. That would be 3,000 words. Uh, owie. Ow, owie. Owie. That's, that's all I can say. Owie my fingers, owie my head. But now, oh, I'm resting. I have a test uh, in Japanese uh, over tomorrow, if I rec- I think, yeah, it is over tomorrow. And I have another assignment due over the horizon. Not looking forward to that. However, what I am looking forward to is I got a not really in my in my mail more like I got a, a, po a note in my mail that I got a shipment I got a package so I went and would you look at that my good old friend and brother in the community Nuj Patel from Enchante Perfumes uh, sent me a let's let's call it a generous a generous uh, slop, a generous, you know, ladleful, like he's a lunch lady. You know, like, what? But it's it's good quality slop, I'll tell you that. He, uh, the friend Anouche, runs a vintage perfume store online. If you look up Enchanté, Enchanté Perfumes, that's, that's the name of his website. I do recommend you check out his offerings, maybe like, you know, contact him try and build a rapport with him before you ask for some crazy stuff like i i've heard that balenciaga pour homme, that uh, that that um, uh, don't ask that uh, immediately uh, that or patu patu pour homme, i also heard that that's that that's an insane prank don't ask for those uh, right off the bat or else you're just gonna be put on a wait list is what i surmised uh, and so uh, let's start with the unboxing. In terms of smelling, I'm not sure which I would smell. For now, it'll be just my general impressions of bottle and all that. So, let's start with... Eh, I don't know. Let's go with this. Dunhill. You know the cigarette brand? Dunhill. Let's see what's in the Dunhill box. It is... It is... It is. <laughs> Look at this cute little thing, cutie patootie. Look at this cutie patootie. Look at him, he's so cute. He's so cute. Oh my god. Yeah, this is Dunhill from Men. I'm pretty sure this released originally in the 1930s, believe it or not. Uh, I will leave this for later because Jesus Christ, this is a content farm and a half. Put it away. Five mils, five mils as well in this cute little bottle. Man, they just don't, they don't make them like they used to. That's, <laughs> I sound like an old man. Jesus Christ. Look what this community has done to me. Oh my God. But yeah, little, little. <laughs> it's so cute and tiny little, cute little Dunhill. A nice little tactile bottle and yeah. <laughs> It's so cute! It's so cute! Ah, <laughs> uh, melts my heart. I am kind of scared smelling it though, because I, I don't know if I vibe with vintage masculines that that hard. Speaking of not vibing with vintage masculines that hard, Azaro, Azaro Prom. This I smelled a reformulated version of this. With the very start of my perfume journey, and let me tell you, I did not, I did not jive with that with that one. Uh, yeah, it's just I don't know. Oh my god, same thing. Look, it's the little. <laughs> it's so cute. It's the little bottle with the fuck. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so amused by these little, little small bottles, but like they're so cute. And like, I used to be one of those people that like 
saw a smaller version of something I'm like, what, that, what's the big deal? It just looked like a small glass bottle. But like, this is so cute. Why is this cute? This, the smell is, uh, I will, uh, uh, you know, pause it, not cute at all. Oh my god, it's so vintage. It even says Loris, uh, Loris Azzaro at the, at the bottom, you see? Loris Azzaro. That means that the founder of the brand was still alive when they, with the brand, you know? Like, uh, with Thierry Mugler, and they changed to Mugler, and all that, but like, yeah, small little miniature bottles, that's cute. Next up, we got Enrico Coveri, I'm assuming it's a Spanish house, but I'm not sure. It's Italian, it's Italian, so it's Enrico Coveri, six mils, Enrico Coveri, boom, let's see. What, what small bottle we have in store here? <laughs> oh my god! Stop! These are so cute! These are so cute! <laughs> look! Look, it's so cute! It's got the little, little, little stamp in it as well. This is so cute! Oh my god! Oh my god! These are so cute! <laughs> look! It's got this little, like, Turquoise thing, cyan thing with a little, little cyan top. It's just, <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited! Thank you so much, News, for sending me this gift. It's, it's more than entertaining at this point. <laughs> These minis are just like, come on, aren't they just the darndest things? They're just, <laughs> they really like, uh. <laughs> They really extinguished the, the cynic in me, you know, I was like, I was gonna be jaded, I'm like, oh, let's see what we have here, and now I'm all giddy, I'm all giddy, it's so fun, oh my god, okay, <laughs> next up, Caron Puronum de Caron, again, I'm pretty sure it's a 1930s release, uh, no, no clue about reformulations and such, if it comes in this, I'm gonna assume it's a, Oh my god, I see a little cap. Oh my god, I see a little cap. Yep. Yup. <laughs> it's the small, it's the small dinky little Caron bottle flacon. Look at this. Look at it's so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm acting like a teenage girl for glass bottles. This cannot be healthy, guys. This cannot. Anyway. <sighs> I'm kind of looking forward to Puranome de Caron. Because I've heard it has a lot of vanilla. And it's kind of... People describe it as an amber... Amber... Fougère. But you know, Fougère is a masculine, vintage, kind of blah, blah, blah. If you want to look up what Fougère means... Go by your free time, do it. Um, this is just me geeking out, okay? Uh, Givenchy Gentleman. It's got a little eau de toilette. It's not the the modern one. It's this little, cute, this little cutie patootie. This little cutie patootie. Look at this cute little guy. With a little top hat and a fucking... Look, the cap's so shitty. It's even crooked. For the no fault of a noosh, but like, it's so endearing, and like, what's that? Oh my, I think this is a splash on, I think this is, this is a splash on, there's no, there's no atomizer, why would there be? These are just mini bottles, oh my god, these are so, so cute, Jesus Christ, that does it for the, Oh, okay, okay. Let's let's align them for a family photo, okay? Pour un homme de Caron. Givenchy, gentlemen. Azzaro, pour homme. Dunhill, for men. Uh, Dun Dunhill, for men. Uh, may maybe, maybe, like, yeah, there we go. Dunhill, for men. And... Enrico Coveri. Boom. Aren't these guys like, look at these guys. They're so, they're so wholesome. Wholesome Murder 100 guys, right? Look at these. I'm, I'm sure the smell's gonna 
abuse me because uh, again me and vintage masculine is not sure how well i go with those so far in terms of bottle design <laughs> dunhill just has me going like it's it's so cute it's so cute dunhill is so cute uh yeah in terms of scent i'm pretty sure i'm looking forward to puranon de caron in terms of the miniature bottles because because oh, oh. You thought, you thought that's, that's only, that's all, that's it? You thought that's all of what he sent me? Oh, you must, you are so naive. You don't know, you don't know half of the generosity of my man, Anuj. He sent me eight, eight decans. And another eight decants, making it a total of 16. Not including the miniature bottles, which makes it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 21. You stupid. No, I'm not. My God, this man it has no boundaries. He treats everyone. He's so kind. I mean, he's a businessman, you know? You know what they say. Uh, the first one's free, and then you're hooked. I'm not saying you're like that. Don't worry. Don't don't do not worry. I'm so, you're a you're a stand up citizen. It's just like I'm flabbergasted. I n never in my life have I received a shipment the, this generous from someone who isn't you know parents or family. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Oh my God. I'm hyperventilating. I need to I need to relax. Oh my God. Oh my god. It's just, it's just. Oh my god. You are so kind, you know that? You are so kind. Uh, yeah, guys, if you wanna, if you wanna see these kinds of reactions, they're not gonna be as loud as this because this is the first, there's a first for everything, and this is mine. But you know, if you want to you know half of it, eh, send me your decants, guys, you know? I will eventually smell them. Cause wow, wow. Sorry, it's taking me a while to open it. You know, I I won't I won't end this for for you know, uh, simplicity's sake. So please just endure with me. You know, write to me how your day's going, your scent of the day, and all that. Uh, I'm just basking in the glory. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, guys. These are actually insane, guys. Uh, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh? See, I'm a blathering idiot right now. I have no words other than oh my and god. Because... Look at these! These are ginormous decant models. From what I, what I, I see, these are just incredible. What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna swear. I'm gonna swear. What the fuck? What the fuck? Sorry, let me just uh, organize myself. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Whew. Whew. This is not healthy. I need to relax. I need to relax. I need to relax. I need to relax. I need. You guys see me okay? You guys see me? You guys over there, you see me okay? You see me? You see me okay? Okay. That's one portion done. One portion done. One portion done. Kirsten Dunst. One portion done. Let's. Jesus, 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 I'm not even, I'm not even Christian and you got me saying Jesus. <sighs> Just, <sighs> you know, it's on days like these where I think there's hope in the world, you know, I, I, you know, I might be exaggerating, I'm definitely exaggerating with this, it's just, whew. 
I think the heat is getting to me as well. Because I don't know if you can see it from, from, from your guys' end. But I am sweating in bullets. It's not even bullets. I'm sweating the whole damn artillery out here. I'm sweating shells. Sweating mortar shells, goddamn. I swear, call me the Enola Gay how much I'm sweating. It's, it's just... Oh my god, I'm armed. Uh, don't... Keep watching, please. It's just... If you are listening to this in the background, I am so... I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I'm gonna say it again. I am so... So sorry. I am so sorry. I am some sorry. <laughs> I am samsara. Jesus Christ, the fucking intro to Indian history has got me going about samsara and shit, bro. This is insane. Insane. In the membrane. You know, futures made of virtual insanity. I get hung out. Made of given the before and the futures made of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Okay, okay. Now, let's let's go from parure parure. I have no idea what this one is. Uh, I'm looking forward to it because it's Guirlon and vintage Guirlon. It is fantastic. Eh... Chalimar. Wait, no, it's not Chalimar. It's not even French. It's Chalimar. I don't know, Chalimar. I, I'm not gonna do the accent, okay? It's, it's the name of the, of the guy's wife. The guy who built the Taj Mahal. I think it was one of his loved ones. From Guirlon. Vintage as well. They don't make these... Well, they, they do make Chalimar, but they don't make, you know, this Chalimar. The Eau de Toilette, by the way. Maybe it means he sent me the Eau de Parfum and the Extrait? I don't think so. We got... Chemad, Eau de Toilette, another interesting one. Let's, let's put... Let's put... Chalimar as one I will smell in this video. Uh, we have Chemad. Uh, yeah. Uh, Samsara. Samsara. Sam, sam, samsara. Samsara, I don't know. I think it's some sort of the toilet. Sorry if I'm offending anyone with this. I'm just... Uh, you can't even see me. What am I doing? What am I doing? Some sort I heard has real mice or sandal. So let, let's make sure I smell that one as well. Uh, we got... Jiki the Fougère. Might, might smell it. We got Heritage. I don't feel so confident about Heritage. Let's, let's put it... Uh, we got Jordan de Bagatelle, Guirlon. No, feel so confident about that one. I'm gonna put it aside. We got Nahema again. Don't feel so confident about that one. We got Champs Elysees, Champs Elysees. You know Champs Elysees, as they say the Champs Elysees. Again, don't feel so confident about that one. Boys, boys. L'heure bleu, l'heure bleu, insane composition from what I heard. We got Abbey Rouge, again, I'll put it aside. Abbey Rouge, I think it was Mick, one of the Rolling Stones sent. <gasps> Mitsuko, oh my god, Mitsuko, holy shit, okay, I'm gonna have to get rid of one of these. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of Jiki for now, Jiki I'm gonna get rid of. I'm not throwing these away, by the way. I'm just saying I'm, I'm gonna... I'll smell four of these for your guys', you know, listening pleasure. We got... Vetiver. Mm -mm. We got... La Parure, that I put aside. We got... Aubusson. We got... Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! A new juice bastard! 
These aren't vintage. These are Liz Abstrays. Oh my God. Eugene's gonna, wow, I'm gonna have a lot of these, these two. We got La Douleur Exquis, which is the first release from the house of Les Abstray by Eugene, from the channel You Smells Good and the brand Les Abstray, of course. Uh, making the rounds in the community, good friend of another, another incredible uh, content creator, or, you know, content consumer, as he likes to call himself, Rich Mitch. And the release that I personally look forward to, Bellon, Beautiful Soul. I forgot to say this means the exquisite pain, although that you might have heard ad nauseum in the marketing. But yeah, Benom. Expect I'm expecting to like this. I'm expecting to like this, you know? If I like this, if I like this, and I tell my birthday to someone, you, you know, I'm not I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it at that because uh, that's it. <laughs> I'm so excited, Jesus. Okay, let's get to sn Let's get to sniffing, am I right, boys? Do I have a do I have a piece of paper or something? Do I have a piece of paper or something? Okay. I do have some sheets of Okay. Good news! I found pieces of paper. Uh, okay, so, the one that I'm looking forward most to smelling is probably Chalimar from How Much I Like Vanilla, so I'm gonna leave it for last. Wanna, you know, wanna, wanna edge you guys, I don't wanna, I, not, not like that, bro. Leur Bleu and Mitsuko. Which of these, I think I wanna smell Mitsuko third to last, then Leur Bleu, Leur Bleu, Bleu, so we are starting with some some sara some sara some sara some sara let's spray the some sara okay 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 oh my god what is this Woods, soapy woods, like, yeah, oh my, oh my god, it's very, wow, and this is the fourth, Jesus Christ, Guerlain, what, what were you doing? It, it does, got, it has this kind of, you know, dry kind of, Tanning feeling, maybe like a little kind of feeling. I also get a huge, not a huge actually. I get a very nice bubble bath. This is a <laughs> this is a soapy bubble bath. This is a soapy woodsy bubble bath. This is so nice. It's. It's so interesting. And it's not challenging. It just puts a smile on my face, you know? It's... It is... It is just bringing me to a bubble bath with, I don't know, someone just dropped in a billet of sandalwood in here. <laughs> it seems like I'm at fake acting. I don't know, maybe I may. Maybe I'm fooling myself, but like... Oh my god! Samsara! I don't wanna escape you! I don't wanna reach Moksha! Bro, if Moksha means I don't get to experience this Samsara, banish me to the Shadow Realm, my guy. This needs more wearing! Samsara! Mm -mm -mm. Incredible! Next up, 
let's recuperate for a second. We don't want to, you know, my mic might peak if I do it like this. Sorry. Okay. L'heure bleue. L'heure bleue. These, these, you know, these, these decans are chunky, my man. These are chunky. Where do you get these, bro? On Amazon? Or is, this, is there like a wholesale company for this, my man? Like, goddamn. Let's, let's spray, okay? Okay. 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 Guess we're doing this now. Okay. People say melancholic. People say emotion. I get it. I get it. This is... Oh my god. This is so... It's crying. The scent is crying. It's got this floral thing. But there's this cloud. Of like... Deep, almost eggplant emoji purple. That's just... It's crying. And it's not an ugly cry. Which, I love ugly cries, you know? We all need to ugly cry once in a while. This is a... This is a cinema cry. This is a drops cry, you know? The one where you want to cry when you watch them cry. You want to hug them, tell them it's all okay. I'm not- I'm not raising you guys! I'm not raising you guys! What are you even talking about? But, oh my god, yeah, it's... <sighs> In the most flattering sense of the world. Word, do not world. This is a damsel in distress. But it's not the distress, like, you know, kidnapped by Bowser. It's real ideological turmoil. It's... It's life. She's struggling with life. And I want to tell her it's all okay. But I can't. Because this is vintage, guys. They're not making these like they used to. Or maybe they are, maybe they are. I don't know. I haven't smelled Leur Bleu. In the modern version, but like, oh my god, oh my god, it's so, so vulnerable, and I'm sorry that I make this this comparison, but like, this is <laughs> this is Weezer, this is fucking Pinkerton, the fucking Pinkerton album from Weezer, where he cries and he cries and he cries, and it's and you you listen to it and it's a bop. And you want to cry with him. So good. Although Pinkerton does have some, you know, suspicious moments. <sighs> oh my god. But I need to vary my vocabulary, as you can clearly see. <sighs> Next up on the Discovery Channel, Mitsuko. This kind of reminds me of, uh, of, um, this kind of reminds me of Pinkerton, but only in the sense that it has a lot of references to the play Madame Butterfly, and you know, Madame Butterfly, Cho Cho san, she's, uh, Japanese, Cho Cho, Ch Cho, like in Cho no, like, God damn, if you know the wrestler, Masahiro Cho no, I think it's Masahiro, I'm not sure. By yeah, Mitsuko, Cho Cho San, Madame Butterfly. Let's see what Mitsuko is all about. I'm saying this like I'm a goddamn radio announcer or something. Like, what the fuck? <sighs> okay. 
lower my expectations. Okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. This is your grandma in her prime. Not even grandma, maybe even great grandma. Grandma. Like this. This screams to me Russian ballroom. I'm saying Russian because there's a slight cool and stuffy feeling about this, you know? The the ballroom isn't isn't very well lit. There's a certain like aura of candlelights and like sparse chandeliers about it. It's so It's so sophisticated. There's a smokiness and a fruitiness. This is stern Russian uh, not princess, but maybe like an an heiress to an aristocrat family, like not the Romanovs, but like, you know, one of the Romanovs' friends, daughters. This, mmm. This has the smell of political marriage in it. I'm just, every little thing that I'm like, yeah, this, this is not from my time. I get with Mitsuko. <coughs> It's crazy. It does remind me a lot of Zoologist Civet. Or should I say, Zoologist Civet reminds me a lot of this, because this came out in the early 1900s. That's a shit ton of time. I could wear this. I could absolutely wear this. This kind of has my personality, or at least what I try to be, sophisticated Russian aristocracy, you know? It's this kind of... This kind of... pompousness. Trapped. This isn't... Oh my god. If that was sadness, this is stubbornness and not willing to admit defeat. This kind of sur It kind of smells like survival and doing something in spite of your circumstances. That's the kind of vibe I get. If I wanted to hug and comfort Leur Bleu, I want Mitsuko to come and comfort me. I cheat. This girl has her shit together. And she will escape her situation one way or another. This <laughs> this smells kind of feminist to me. I really don't know how how. It's kind of feminist by being by being, I don't know, conforming to the standards of the time. <sighs> 34 minutes. This one I'm gonna have to go on skin because I ran out of tester tester strips. Test your strips. Gonna go with Shalimar. <laughs> I spit on your face. I'm sorry. But yeah. Shalimar. Whew. Let's spray it on. Very citrusy, very citrusy up top. Maybe I spray too much and I need to let the alcohol calm down. I, 
I'm still getting a lot of citrus. I'm getting a lot of citrus. But I am slowly but surely. I'm slowly but surely it turns from like citrus to citrus candy. This is intriguing. I'll have to sit on it. I'm starting to get more and more. Might be a little smoky, but I'm not sure. For now, it's it kind of feels like I'm I'm stuck. There's a wall of bergamot that I'm trying to like get past. I'm trying to reach past. See what's 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 under there. Oh, it, it's starting to change. I'm getting a lot more vanilla. Kind of smoky animalic thing, maybe. I'm not sure. This has bite. I'm not getting a lot of sweetness, which I heard vanilla, vanilla, vanilla from Shalimar. I'm gonna have to sit on this one. Or should I say it's gonna have to sit on me? It's very... I'm the most con confused about this one. Because... For now, it kind of seems like a girl whose guard slowly gets loosened. Like, I don't know, maybe she hides her face and then slowly she reveals herself to you. As you get to know her closer, it's this kind of... I'm sorry to use this analogy, dating sim-like progression. <laughs> I'm getting more and more of this character that people are saying, but they're still... There's still the facade, the, the mask, the, the ask is no, but the mask is. There's still a facade of citrus, I'm like, look at me, I'm citrus, aren't I happy? <laughs> what the fuck? What is this making me do? Anyway, I will come back to you with Shalimar. Because it is interesting. Very interesting. And that does it for my man Anuja's wonderful, wonderful care package. Because he does care, you know? I would, I would, I would vote for him as president if he was politically, if he were politically inclined. But I think it would be best for all of us if he just be a... Uh, Vintage perfume connoisseur. Now it's all vanilla. Great, wonderful. I'm gonna have to leave you guys and keep sniff sniffing this. As always, uh, liking and subscribing is secondary to commenting. I want to hear your scent of the day. Any of these, what do you think? Uh, are you excited for me to smell all of these? Which miniature bottle was your favorite? Let me hear you guys. I am important in this because I am important. But you guys are important because I think you're important. So please, make your importance worth something by commenting down below. Thank you and goodbye.